one, two, three. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul slash what I got for Christmas type video, whatever you want to call it. Don't mind my appearance. I am totally lazy today. I don't want to put on any makeup, nor do I want to do my hair. So that explains why I look like this. I got this cute new pimple. This was one of my Christmas gifts as well for my face. Anyways, I used to love watching these types of videos when I was younger, more like when I was into like the beauty community kind of. I wasn't obviously into mommy and family videos because, well, I didn't have a kid. It kind of faded away throughout time as I became a mom and now that I'm back more into like caring about myself and not just about, you know, my daughter. That was a big struggle I had for a long time. I enjoy watching those videos again. That's what the point is. I enjoy watching what people get. I enjoy watching people show what they get for whatever it would be. I just, I love hauls and I love watching what people receive. It's really fun for some reason to me. So obviously in this video, I am not bragging or anything like that in no way, shape or form. I know that's like the most cliche thing ever and everybody on YouTube says that, but it's true, I would never do that. If I wanted to brag in my life, I could brag about a lot more things, but I choose not to do that, obviously. Like I said, it's just a lot of people think it's fun and think it's entertaining and interesting to see like what kind of gifts everyone got for Christmas. And that's kind of why I'm gonna do this video today. I'm just gonna start with, um, I guess like the clothes section because I did get a pretty good amount of clothing this year. So I told my mom this year that I wanted a lot of comfy clothing because as you guys know, I don't work anymore. More. I obviously work at home. I work from home and I've always just loved to wear comfy clothing when I did work I would have to wear jeans and I absolutely hated it So now that I don't have to wear jeans every day I like live for it and I try and stay in comfy clothing as much as possible So of course my mom being amazing like she is she went ham with the comfy clothing So the first thing I have right here is just this very large pink sweater it is very um, oversized, which I asked for because I love oversized clothes, but it's just a very cute pink sweater. This is another thing she got me as well. It's just like a nice little, like, I don't know, it has pockets, it's gray. I believe it has a hood too. Yeah, it has a little hood on it. It's just like a little, okay, this just looks weird. It's a little pullover sweatshirt. And this is the same exact pullover. I think these are from Kohl's. Yeah, they're called the softest fleece um lounge life and this is just another one they're like big and flared on the bottom and then they just and then they just have like the v-neck and you know whatever i'm basically wearing it right now so this is just a one in a dark gray color this little v-neck sweater this one is a different material and it's also a different print but it is the same same type of idea she got me this which i absolutely love this it's like a really fuzzy light nude pink cardigan it's a cardigan like with a hood i don't even know how you would describe this but basically it just looks like this does this have pockets no it doesn't but yeah it's just like a just a cardigan fuzzy cardigan with a hood and i you guys know i love this color it's my favorite color ever i love the neutrals gray white black and then the nude like blush pink blush pink nude colors any of those I love this jacket. This is like a fuzzy zip up jacket. It just looks like this, as you can see. And then it has pockets as well. A nice fuzzy jacket. I love, love comfy clothes. Like I live for comfy clothes. And then another part of like the comfy, <laughs> the comfy part of it is this nice robe. This is seriously one of the most comfortable robes I've ever got. It's from let me see it's from the gilligan and o'malley i believe that's from target just this cream robe it has a pretty like design braided looking design through it oh my gosh this is so comfy i wonder what the material it's 100 percent polyester which is interesting because i got patrick 100 percent polyester robe for christmas and his feels completely different than mine so maybe they're scamming me because it feels mine feels way more comfy this my mom said she got like all of like the siblings all of us have the same shirt so we'll wear these like 
in the summer maybe if we go on a vacation or something we, we can all match but this is so cute the shirt it is from old navy it's just like an off the shoulder strapless shirt with the big sleeves looks like this i want to go to hawaii and drink an alcoholic beverage while wearing that shirt another thing that will be for summer this is like one of the cutest bathing suits ever but th this is actually from yeah this is from zapple i've actually worked with zapple before but it just looks like this the top and then it has straps that go with it so it's like this i don't even know how you would say this color the bottoms are a little bit scandalous um they're very like thongy i'm not sure if this is like a bathing suit that i would wear to like the community pool but i might wear it like on the beach maybe if there's not a lot of people i don't know but it's a super cute bathing suit and i really like it my mom always always comes in clutch with getting me and Gracelyn matching things which I, I absolutely love so got me this like dress it's I'm way too tall you guys any dress I've ever gotten or received I'm like way too tall for it that my booty cheeks hang out so this one I've already tried it on and my booty cheeks do in fact hang out so I'm gonna have to just wear it as like maybe a swimsuit cover-up or like a long shirt with leggings I don't know I'm not sure but she did get Graceland the same color one just like the tank top version and of course this is supposed to be a dress for Gigi but Gigi is also very tall like her mommy so she will have to wear this as like a cover-up or something like a longer shirt also for the matching items these are so freaking cute you guys i'm so excited these are from sparkle and pink i've been mentioning them a lot lately but like i said my mom loves to shop their website and if you shop their clearance which i guarantee she got these on clearance you can find really good deals and the fabric the material it's like such a nice it's pretty much yeah it's 97 percent cotton and three percent spandex so you can imagine they are so nice they're stretchy and they're so comfy so anyways she got us these dresses so here is mine it's just a long sleeve floral print dress and it has the super cute like ruffled sleeves and then here's Gigi. oh my gosh so cute I'm so glad she got these. We're gonna probably wear these for um, Easter. Yeah, we'll take like really cute pictures in these for Easter. And then my mom also got me this super cute dress. The back looks like this, and then the front just looks like this. It's just a nice floral dress. I did try this on and it is a little bit short, but I think if I wear shorts under it, I could probably get away with wearing it, maybe, we'll see. And then a bunch of just random miscellaneous shirts that she got me. This blue one, the front just looks like this, and then the back just looks like this. This one really honestly isn't my style, but my mom still got it for me, and it's still very comfy, so I will still probably wear it. This just nice gray, stretchy quarter sleeve, whatever you call it, shirt. And then another thing that my mom got, matchy matchy. These are so cute. She actually got all of these from the children's place, which I didn't know that you could get like adult sizes. I think when they come in like a matching set, you can. But so she got me this one. It says best mom ever. And then wait for it. She got Patrick this one. It says best dad ever. She got Gigi this one. It says best daughter ever. Aren't those adorable? I am obsessed with all of the matching stuff. We're gonna be taking really cute Instagram pictures with these. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll have it on the screen right here and I'll also have it down in the description. Somebody is calling me and it's Emily. I'm trying to film a video. Oh girl, put me in Okay, listen, I would love to talk to this, but I'm like literally filming a video. Well, what are you filming? What I got for Christmas. Okay, I gotta go. Can we, can we do like a sister video together? Like. Sure. Sister tag. You guys want to see a sister tag? Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Emily always calls me at like the most inconvenient times. 
but she always thinks I'm like not talking I don't want to talk to her but she literally calls me at the most inconvenient times anyway so yeah well like I was saying <laughs> if you guys don't follow me I will have it on the screen up here I also always have all my social medias so the only social media I use is Twitter and Instagram and then obviously YouTube um, so you guys can go follow those down below and then these are part of the clothes my mom and dad did not get me these but Emily the one who was just on FaceTime did get me these these are so nice um, they're just like these silky like gosh what's this I forgot what this material is called but they're like silky pajama pants and they're in that cute pink color these are actually from five below I know for a fact because I was going to buy these for myself but she bought them for me so living for those this is just kind of like random item but my mom got me two brand new white towels it is never a bad thing to get new towels because especially white ones they get so dirty i got new towels last year for christmas because i had just moved into this apartment and i didn't have any towels so my grandma and my mom like they both got me a lot of towels together but like the white ones they just they get so nasty especially when you have a kid from my mother this super cute pink throw my mom she knows me so well but this is from target and it has the little fuzzy balls i really my mom like she knew everything that i needed and wanted and i didn't really even tell her a lot of stuff that i wanted this year she just kind of guessed and i really wanted a new throw for my bed so she guessed right on this also part of like the clothes i guess section we're just gonna go into shoes i don't know why she got me two pairs of the same shoes i don't know if it was an accident but i know these ones are actually from i'm pretty sure these are from dollar general believe it or not but these ones are a size 10 they're just little like black booties and then she also got me these ones which are from arizona brand which are from target the box is right there but i'm using it to prop you guys up so yeah, these were from, or not from Target. These are from JCPenney. JCPenney, because the Arizona brand is not JCPenney. But they're just another pair of black little booties. But these ones are a size 11. So I'm not sure if she just didn't know my size, so she just got me two. But I guess I will figure that out with my mom. And then these ones I actually did ask for, and I'm so happy she got them for me. So obviously they are Nike shoes. I really needed new gym shoes. I'm like guys I live such like a simple I try to live like a simple life like if I have something that works I'm like these work like my computer for instance I have an Acer laptop and I edit on movie maker but like it's what works you know what I mean I will be upgrading <laughs> soon because my laptop's literally going to like break any minute now it is so old and it's so crappy but if it wasn't old and crappy I probably would continue to use that but like that's an example I have an iPhone SE this is like the one of the cheapest iPhones and basic iPhones you can get but I have it because it works like I don't need anything bizarre like an iPhone not judging anybody that does because I totally get it but I don't know it's just for the longest time like it just it works do I have money to go buy a new one yeah but do I want to no because it works and why not like save that money for something better you know what I mean um although this iPhone camera the camera quality on it really really sucks so i'm probably going to be getting a new phone too as well you guys get the idea so for the longest time i've had the same pair of pink nike shoes you guys have probably seen them before and they have like holes in them but like i could still walk in them so i never got myself i don't buy myself a lot of things and i don't know it's just it these days it's just like it's hard to buy myself things i like um giving to others rather than getting myself stuff unless it's something like i absolutely need like makeup or toilet paper for the house or something anyways going off on a tangent there but my mom got me these beautiful nike shoes look at these look at how freaking cute they are how beautiful these are once again with the blush pink color so cute i love these i'm like afraid to wear them because i don't want to get them dirty i believe these are called the woman's nike tangent in particle beige so so yeah and size 11 because I have freaking huge feet you guys I'm really really happy that my mom got me those because they were on my list so thank you so much mother another pair of shoes I did ask for some type of like boots like comfy boots I didn't ask for a specific type because I didn't really care I don't need like fancy Uggs yeah Uggs are cute but 
I didn't really care. <laughs> um, so she got me these ones from, I think these are from Target, she said. They're the Universal Thread Goods Company. That's like what the brand is called. Um, and they're just these cute, uh, what's the color? Tan, like tan boots. So just nice, nice little boots I can slip on if I'm wearing leggings or I don't wanna wear like fancier boots. She just got me these ones, which I'm very, very happy about. And on to like the bigger items. I guess I could show you guys this now. Eh, I guess I'll, yeah, let me put this box on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for one of my bigger items that I did ask for this year, I really wanted this vacuum. So this is the Dyson V6 Motorhead, and it looks like this. It is a very different, unique vacuum, but I'll tell you why I wanted it. So first of all, it's really light. I can hold it in my hands like this. It is super skinny. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It's not bulky. It's not heavy. Yeah, you get that. You, you get the deal. And it is cordless, which I'm living for that. I've always hated the cord on vacuums. It drives me insane. It gets in the way. You can't go wherever you want throughout the house. You have to keep unplugging it. This is an electric vacuum, so it has a little station. I'm gonna hang it up in my pantry. You just mount it to the wall, and then you're able to just mount your vacuum right into the station, and then it clicks right into the charger. The charger holes right there, and it charges the vacuum for you. So anyways, the bottom's really tiny like this. You can do a lot of things with this vacuum. So you just unhook it like this, and then you can take this part, and there's attachments. They're in the little station thing in my pantry right now. There's attachments you can hook in here. So you can take it into your car and vacuum, which I love. I, I, um, I held back on getting a car vacuum because I asked for this vacuum, so I don't need to get a car vacuum now because I can literally just take this and use this in my car. You can also detach like this bottom part right here as well and then you can use this long part to clean to clean like anywhere like you can clean the freaking ceilings you can there's a lot of things you can do with this vacuum so far so good i used it today to vacuum out in the living room and i really liked it and it also has like kind of the ball like technology on the bottom where it swivels around a lot so you can get into okay something weird just fell out of it you can get into like corners and hard to reach places with this. I love that I can vacuum like under the dining room chairs and not have to worry about a big bulky vacuum. So, so far so good on this vacuum, but I'll let you guys know maybe a little later on into using the vacuum in like a month or so, how much I actually really do like it if I end up actually liking it. <laughs> Another thing that I had actually asked for this year is the Alexa, so the Amazon, the Echo Dot. I really wanted one of these because Patrick was like telling me how cool they are and I just started looking up. This is like one of those things that's like so extra to have. It's literally like somebody who answers questions for you and just listens to all your commands. But I hooked her up, she's in my kitchen right now. I already hooked her up. I just don't understand like how I get anything on there. Like I think I have to download Spotify and get premium to be able to play music. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's how like this works. But you can ask your questions like Alexa, what's the weather? or play my playlist or whatever it would be and then you can also get like the smart home stuff so you can get like the light bulbs and stuff to go with it so if you want to like get the light bulbs you can come in your room and be like alexa make my room pink and all of your like like all of your light bulbs will like change to pink i know it's so extra but i might like invest in those when we like move out into an actual house because i don't really want to do that i know you can take the light bulbs out and stuff but they're also very expensive so i'm not sure if i want to be too bougie with that yet because that's a little it's a little bit ridiculous i don't know we'll see from my mom she got me this mixer this is just the hamilton beach hand mixer i don't have one of those and i didn't really need one of these but my mom just i i don't know maybe she wants to motivate me to bake more or something but i really do appreciate it because maybe like we can start baking more or cooking more things that like need to be used with a mixer it never hurts to have a mixer in your house from my grandmother, from my grandma, I got this, which I asked for this, and I'm really happy that she got this for me. It's the pure water filter. So you just put this on your faucet and then it filters out your water. So I like, I have a like suspicion or a conspiracy theory, I don't know, that my water that comes out of my sink is full of lead. I know it's not, but my apartment complex is really, really old. And I just feel like the pipes have lead in them. 
I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but this is supposed to remove 99% of lead, mercury, and any like chlorine, like taste or odor that might be in your water. The faucet water here is awful. Like it is so nasty. I don't know why that's how, I don't know why that's how, why I have like my suspicions of it, but it is like, it's really nasty. My parents' faucet water is not as bad as this is, but like, I needed one of these desperately, so thank you so much to my Nan for getting me one. She also got me, this is just something tiny that she added, but it's my favorite chapstick. It's the Burt's Bees um, Vitamin E and Peppermint Chapstick. And then my grandma also did get me a Starbucks gift card. And then my sister, Emily, also who got me these pants right here. She got me this letter board, which I'm super excited about. I never thought that I like needed one of these, but now that like I see them and I always see people use them, I think they are so freaking cute. So she just got me this one with my sister, Kaylee, got me, she got, I actually asked for these. She got me a bunch of underwear nothing you guys are really probably interested in and then she got me a new wet brush it's funny because i actually needed one of these i didn't tell her that i needed one but i did really need a new brush she got me a little face mask and then she got me this victoria's secret love spell frosted middle school love spell was all anybody wore i swear but this one is the frosted version of it and it actually smells really good it does not smell as obnoxious and bug spray as like the original love spell and then she just got me this lotion from um bath and body works this is called at the beach this is actually one of my favorite scents so that is awesome and then miss gracelyn actually gifted this to patrick and i um just so you guys know, Gracelyn got the date wrong. I know it's supposed to be 2018. She put 2019, but look at how cute these are, guys. Look at how cute these are. It says Mistletoes by Gracelyn, and it's just like her big feet. Look at her big feet. And then that, the little, it's a little project she made for her mommy and daddy. And then she did this one too. It says Merry Christmas from Gigi, and it's like a tree from like her little fingerprints. I think these are so cute. I'm sure her grandma helped her out with that and I really appreciate her grandma always going out of her way to have Gigi give us something special. This bag right here is like stuff that my mom got me in my stocking this year or Santa got me in my stocking. So I got some nice fuzzy socks. I already wore a pair out of here, so that's why they're kind of just like busted open. I got this cute pink fuzzy hat, which is too small for my head, but um, this might actually fit grace on the head. So I got some new washcloths. It never hurts to get new washcloths. You are, you always need these. I feel like anybody would appreciate washcloths. Like that's just something that you always need like i use these to clean the sink and stuff every day and they get really nasty after a couple days so i always have to keep doing laundry to clean my washcloths so new ones are nice i'm just gonna go through this stuff quick she got me some razors some smartly body wash it's a new brand at target the st ives soft scrub i use that for my face she got me some shave foam. This is a snowflakes and cashmere scent from Bath and Body Works. It's one of my favorite Christmas scents. She got me this um, Garnier Fructis like leave-in cream for your hair. And then a chapstick in here, beauty blender. And then there's like um, Mally's pretzel crunch bar. And then there's also like Hershey's Kisses and Reese's and just like a bunch of candy in the bottom. This was not my stocking, by the way. <laughs> I had a stocking, but I obviously left it at my mom's house because it is her stocking for me. Oh, Spencer got me this ring. I'm gonna have to find it so I can show you guys. Really quick so I can show you guys. Spencer got me this super pretty ring. I actually had this on my list. It's like flowers. It's, um, gosh, I don't even know what kind of flower this is, but it's really, really cute. It's just a nice sterling silver ring. I know I already showed you guys in the Christmas vlog what um, Patrick got me, but in case you didn't watch that, if you haven't, I'll have it already carded and I'll also have it linked down below. I'll still show it in this video. But he got me this beautiful, beautiful necklace from Kay's. It is so pretty. I was not expecting this at all. It is just a beautiful necklace. I love the style of this 
he even told me when he got it he was like I, I thought this was your style and I was like it totally is I'm not I'm not a huge necklace wearer but it's because nobody ever buys me necklaces or nice necklaces like this that I can wear and I've always had my necklaces get tangled up by Graceland so I just don't wear them that often but I really appreciate that he got me this beautiful one all right not sure if this is focusing I don't think it is it's so hard to show this so hard. It literally does not want to focus on this necklace. I'm gonna have to pick the camera up and show you guys that it is such a beautiful necklace. And this is just the last thing um, that I got for Christmas. I hope I'm not missing anything. But this is from Patrick's mom. She just got me these fuzzy, it's like a fuzzy sock set with a foot scrub and a foot lotion. I'm gonna make Patrick do that to me later on today. She also got me this putty <laughs> this looks like I have nasty feet and she's like trying to fix my feet, but I have um, <laughs> Which is not the case, but I have this she got me this petty perfect electronic nail care system I actually used to have one of these and I loved it and it broke so I'm actually really good I'm really glad she got this for me. It's like an electric like nail filer and stuff also just got me this EOS um, vanilla bean lip balm. I got a lot of chapstick, which is perfect because I go through chapstick so fast. And then she also just got me this cute little, it's like a cute little jewelry. It could be like for jewelry. You could put honestly, like you could put a lot of things in here, but I'm going to put my rings, oh, my rings inside of this. And then she just got me two shirts right here. So this one just says faith and it just looks like this it's a big it's a big comfy shirt which i love this one is more for like summertime but i guess it doesn't really matter it's just a tie-dye it's just a tie-dye top looks like this ties on the bottom and it just says blessed oh my mom i'm trying to think if there's anything out there my mom also got me a candle it's just the candle. It's out there. It's like a creamy vanilla coconut candle. I think I got through everything that I received this year for Christmas. But yeah, thank you so much to all of my family, if you're watching this, for getting me, Gigi, and Patrick all these amazing gifts. So yeah, we are very, very, we are very, 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 very thankful. I always feel like overwhelmed with like thankfulness and I always feel so lucky during this time of year just because I have amazing parents. My parents have always worked so hard to like give us anything we want and more, but my parents have never spoiled us. They've always taught us that we have to kind of work for what we want for, work for what we want. And my parents have done an amazing job raising very independent women because me and all of my sisters who are like adults, we are all so super independent. We all make our own money. We all can do our own stuff. We all are very, we all are very independent and we never rely on others to help us out. And my parents did a very good job raising us to be that way. So shout out to you, mom and dad, you guys, even though we might have been a pain in your guys' butts <laughs> growing up, especially me, um, I think we all turned out pretty good. I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. I hope you guys got to spend lots of time with family and friends and got to eat some good food and open presents and give presents and just celebrate Christmas in general. Um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Also, if any of you guys have a YouTube channel and you're going to be posting a video like this, um, link it down below. I would love to watch and see what any of you guys got for Christmas. It doesn't matter the size of your channel. You can have one subscriber, you can have 50 million, I don't care. I just love to watch these types of videos and I would love to watch you guys um, because it's interesting to see Sometimes when you guys like leave comments down below, I'll click on your channel and I'll like watch some of your guys' videos. I know I've commented on some of your guys' videos before and you like freak out that I commented, but I don't know. I like to see like behind the scenes of who is actually watching my videos. It's really nice to get to actually like put a face on the name that comments on your videos and also like get to know that person as well. I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I'm <laughs> sorry.